some guys uh, They food have food fetish Kakak Ya 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 ada Aku pernah nampak juga food fetish Kau semua rono Macam apa tu um, Pengutur se- apa Semi, semi fit pics <laughs> Hi, this is Let's, Let's Talk and, and Try. My name is Amalia. I'm Rhoda. And I'm Hazika. Today, we have no sponsor. So if you would like to sponsor <laughs> us, <laughs> if you like to sponsor <laughs> us and like me, have us um, munching on things, yes. please email to hello at screenboss.com.sg. Yeah, any form of sponsorship. Any form, food, <laughs> drink, <laughs> like itu eh. Kau betul muka bisnes eh. Oh, kau dah. <laughs> And today's topic is oversharing. Don't tell us what to do. Don't. We see buzz about girls' pictures on certain platforms. On certain platforms that they got shared. Have you had any experience of your pictures gonna share? Personally, no. Tak. But so you post know. yourself lah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Actually, um, I started off as a private account because. I just don't, I don't really, I'm not really comfortable with people um, looking at my pictures lah macam and yeah so that's why I kept it very in a contained like environment because we are doing content on social media mm-hmm. so I feel like we should, I should keep it um, mm-hmm. public lah mm. just for work purposes actually to be very honest I'm not there like if you really look at my account right it's just <laughs> mostly like My OOTDs or uh, vain pictures lah. I mean, let's just be honest. We put post nice pictures. Oh, I used to be have a public account on mm-hmm. Instagram. Then after a while, I de- decided to just private it. There's a fake accounts going around. Uh, so mm-hmm. I don't know who follow me. Uh-huh. So correct, I feel correct. conscious. That's why I just <laughs> close it. So I know like who are my followers, mm-hmm. like who are my friends who watch like you know my IG story. Correct. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's more content, right? Yeah, in a sense. Because yeah. Because actually, right, if you really notice, ah, uh, what is very scary is that. For me, ah, I mean, not that I really look at who view my story, tau. Mm-hmm. But you can, because if you notice, right, how Instagram works is such that the first, uh, the first bunch is the people who are your followers, memang your friends or whatever, and yeah. then the last few people are actually people you don't know. Mm, and I notice that I'm just like, is that person ini? I have the instances a lot. Like now that my account is public, then you will know who actually stalk you. Actually, you know. Mm. And I think it's pretty scary lah Because like What if people screenshot my Insta story mm-hmm. or whatever And then the technology is so good right now Like you can even screen record And then you won't even know That people are spreading things Take your content out of context And then just spread around Just so, gonna monopolate yeah, you right? Yeah, 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 yeah But I think that's the also The reason why we go private lah mm-hmm. mm. To be honest I kena before lah Because uh, my platforms are not private So what happened to me was It was in 2016 And my picture went viral oh, What picture? Mm. It's a collage of Nilofa mm. and then after that uh, my picture and then I titled it Nilofa Nibukan mm. so it was funny that time yeah, it's because it was um, a joke between friends mm. and then I showed it to my husband lah uh, that time he was my tunang Ex-Masi. no he was my Boyfriend. I can't remember yeah so I showed it to him and he, we were all laughing about it but after that um, he posted it on Facebook so we mm. all laughed about it lah oh you can find funny and then suddenly this idiot I don't know who from Kompang went on Twitter with that picture without our permission mm. um, and then posted it and then it went viral people retweeted at first I wasn't upset because to me macam eh Go back go. It was yeah. all fun and laughter. Yeah. Macam, ah, people, people, you go people, viral. Yes, lah. people retweet and eh ni kelakar ni kelakar. Then I was like, ah ni kelakar ni kelakar. Until it went to different platforms, other platforms other than Twitter. Yeah. It went on Facebook. It went on media channels. And when I read the comments, I wasn't happy. It was terrible because someone actually said, um, Nilofa. Nigemo. Okay, that's In just the, rude. Yes, then. that's just rude. Okay, so I was like, eh, I thought this this was supposed to be fun. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Right, and then suddenly people were saying, um, ni lofa, ni lagi sedap. What? what? Yes, it was. It went. It on, went like that. It huh? went like that. So I was very upset. So I, of course, I took it out on the guy from Kompang. I don't know him. Honestly, I don't mm. know him. I can't even remember how he looks like right now. So, um, I hope that person can live in peace, lah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I actually DM that person. I actually said that, "Hi, I was in the picture uh, that you took. That picture was um, posted uh, in my boyfriend's Acc- Facebook oh, yeah. account, but you took it without uh, permission. Without permission. Uh, I don't know whether we know each other mm. or you know each other, but apparently not. 
But you took it, you re- you posted it, you tweet about it, and it went viral. And that person senyap ah. No, because you know why? Some people right, they take your content because macam you you put it out as uh-huh. like a macam just a fun, just for fun, right? Mm-mm. But then these people they are crazy for like macam exposure and retweets, and they mm. go for the likes. Not so famous, macam they're not famous ah. So macam they take your stuff and then they put it out. They get retweets, right? They get famous like mm-hmm. oh, and plus they 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 think that just because you post it, they think right that is consent to take it, you know. As, that's why I said it's a very tricky thing ah. This mm-hmm. social media thing, it's like once your account is public, it's a. Uh, It's kind of like you are giving people the chance to take, take whatever, yeah. you know. But so, but that's why I say like if you don't want to put yourself in a, mm. that kind of position, you have some precautions you need mm. to take. Yeah. So I don't know, much like, but, but what 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 happened actually is just pretty like disturbing, ah, because it just started out as fun and games, and mm. then suddenly you know, it just you blew see up people yeah, commenting. Yeah, and like why do you have to skew towards that side of like things and make make jokes? And it's not even a joke. It's just being rude. It's and like just being rude, lah. So I, uh, it went viral on t- in 2016, mm. and then after that, it went viral again in 2017. And I hated it. You know when you have friends and family and relatives yeah. uh, messaging you, hey, your picture, gini gini. Mm. I well, I appreciate people checking up on me, as in, uh, are like, you okay? okay? But I don't like it when my friends were sharing it, lah. It just shows what kind of person you are. They were like, yeah. you were like, hey. Uh, You were famous, eh? And you shared it. Mm. You know that it's wrong, but you shared it. Mm. Yeah. So I didn't like it, lah. I mean, you are trying to tell me that I my my picture went viral, but you shared it on Facebook. Mm. I don't understand that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I actually ignore, lah. I just um, you know, Facebook has this thing, uh, untag yourself. Oh. I just untag myself and then just get quiet about it until it dies down. Mm. What we're trying to say is, uh, whatever you have, whatever you put on social media, has consequences, lah. Correct. Yeah, mm. I mean it's your space. You can say that uh, it's what I I, it, I can do whatever I want because it's my my my, 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 my picture, picture my view. And that time I was wearing tudung. Yeah, yeah. It's not like I was wearing skimpy clothes, ke I saw, or I saw nude, ke, yeah, But I was wearing tudung. Yet people talk about my body. That means it doesn't matter lah. Pukul pukul. Yeah, And yeah. you still get you know you your pictures may mm-hmm. still get. Mm-hmm. That, that's the thing I'm afraid of. <laughs> macam now that now that we are having this conversation, sometimes I think about it. Macam Kadang-kadang like we post my uh, like for me ah personally mm-hmm. like, if you really notice I post a lot on my muka ah like is there because I like to post my OOTD mm-hmm. and it's just for vain sake ah macam lawa dia aku post macam gitu but then now I'm like overthinking in a sense right macam these platforms is not safe because you don't mm-hmm. know what will happen like you can like pakai tudung you can be covered from head to toe yet People things still can think. happen to you mm-hmm. and you don't know that you cannot Uh, stop people lah So what you can do Is probably start with yourself yeah, Like yeah, yeah. Mm. Macam orang cakap lah Like you want to tutup mulut orang tu Nak stop people from doing things Is very difficult But yes. you can start by Doing it yourself Macam l- Maybe reduce mm. The kind of things That you post mm-hmm. Or like macam To be safe To be safe Yeah that's why The topic today Is all about oversharing Yes I think it's important To prioritize your privacy People may be uh, Envious or jealous And The people around you, not everyone around you, um, have a good heart. Correct. 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 So if that happens, um, it all boils down to you, lah. Right. To me, what what I feel is whatever they share on social media platform will form um, this judgment. Can you pakai apa ke? People are going to talk about it. I don't like to share what I do or like. Yeah, like mm. I very private lah in in a way. Like I think like yeah, I don't think people will care what what I'm gonna post, mm. right? Yeah. So when you go <laughs> overseas, <laughs> I have a tip lah. Like yeah. example, like if you go overseas and you go for a hotel hotel room, uh-huh. I think it's best not to like you know have a hotel room tour or something like that mm. because like you don't know what's like the stalker or whatever Mm-mm. danger, right? You can just enter to your maybe hotel and then Mm-mm. saw you, then stalk Mm-mm. you, right? You don't know what yeah, because yeah, you're correct. overseas. And also, like if you go for a location overseas, so like uh, example a theme park, uh, don't tag that theme park yeah. until you leave that leave theme park. park. Yeah, maybe you can post like one or two days later. So basically, just enjoy the experience first, take picture, da da da. But then you can post like maybe like a day it after. It doesn't have to be immediate Yeah, it cannot be like instantly. Instantly, yeah. Right. yeah. So you still can post, like it's not you that you can cannot post. post. Yeah. yeah, that's what I did also. Uh, even on normal days for mm-hmm. IG story, mm. I don't post it um right immediately. There. Immediately, yeah. I will make for example, I have lunch at um a cafe, mm. and then I will take pictures 
and then take videos but then Nanti I will post it later yeah. just in case um, a stalker or some, a bad you, person yeah. will follow you want because to rogol you or hey. want to oh my God. <laughs> this is one time I think I went for Marina Bay near Carnival mm-hmm. so um, I was with my sister so I I think for that time I post it immediately yeah. and then I think I tag the location or something mm-hmm. so then um, when I went back home uh, then the I saw macam oh uh, how many people view from the Marina Bay punya location story something like that. Then there's this one person out of nowhere he, he messaged me on inst- Instagram and said that um uh, hey, hey were you at this carnival gini gini no. gini. Abi aku macam mm, aku bawa <laughs> doa lah like, I just pretend like I didn't get a message because I feel eh how you, like eh, at that moment I was thinking eh, how you know but mm-hmm. then I was just, I was just like Oh, maybe because I post and mm-hmm. then like you know people buka and then like people just see and then they try try lah message message kau and then you never know mm-hmm. things might happen you know mm-hmm. people can stop you and stuff like that so that's how I I also learn that tak mau like immediately like post things and tag location if not necessary yeah and usually like like you you guys also I will take a few days or not a few days a few hours lah at least after I leave the place sometimes we post something in order to get likes correct. Mm-hmm. Right, in order to get likes and for people to see, mm. your value isn't how your body looks like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, is it? Is isn't what you wear? It isn't uh, what you portray yourself online. Um, you have to make sure that you have certain guidelines. Correct. What on what you post online. Correct. But at the end of the day, if something happens to you, who can you really blame? You know, what I mean, who can you really blame? Yeah, I believe that you shouldn't be telling a person like you can wear this or you cannot wear this. Mm-hmm. It's up to, uh, for me lah I mean mm-hmm. it, uh, in a way it's up to me but how I've always been raised is such that I still have guidelines lah like my parents are very strict people so okay. I have been told by my dad aku tak suka kau pakai that ripped jeans go and change I have been told and tu kena marah eh kena marah betul so ripped jeans uh, yeah wow and like macam cause is that the rabak <laughs> <laughs> aku pun meminta lah <laughs> macam rabak punya ripped jeans kan koyak sendiri punya tak 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 dia memang koyak aku beli dah koyak lah so <laughs> tak betul fashion, yeah. fashion, yeah. fashion. and at that point I think it was cool right macam but then now it's like tak mau lah nampak kulit banyak sangat uh-huh. nah so I mean I Unlike the both of you, kurang pakai tudung ah. But for me, is even though my my parents are the kind who like mm-hmm. even though kau tak pakai tudung, you cannot, mm-hmm. you shouldn't be dressing that because you know why people will look at you. Mm-hmm. And then if you wear ripped jeans yang koyak koyak rabak gitu, mm-hmm. orang tengok kan. Mm-hmm. So uh, I've always had that macam guideline to follow. So um, I can't really relate lah macam when people say that you cannot tell me what I can or cannot wear because my parents have always been telling me like oh you cannot ah uh, wear this. So I have a certain rule that I have to follow. But I don't really blame it entirely on the women themselves yeah. because again is is how they feel comfortable lah macam if let's mm. say I I won't be posting things I'm not comfortable with but but if let's Correct. say they are posting like provocative pictures maybe they are comfortable they are they feel confident they feel good and they just want to post they have good body they, yeah they have good this is something I'm jealous juga aku tengok eh cantik juga barang tu macam lawa like 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 nice lah like like yeah, 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 yeah. and then that's the whole point right they go to the gym they want to show off lah their yeah, nice yeah, body yeah. or apps or whatever yeah. but you have to be aware lah when you post this kind of things there are people who see the good and the people who see just the take advantage yeah, right, of right. this situation mm. and mm. if guys like they last over it macam they think that oh padahal mm. kau just just sharing because you know you go to the gym you work hard for this Mm-mm. but then it's again taken out of context so Correct. the thing about social media is once your content gets taken out of context you, there's no way for you to right. recover from mm. it fully uh, to be very truthful because once you yeah. put your content out on um on the internet uh, I think somehow it will be there like forever, forever. forever. there will always be a trace of it Okay, okay. Mm. You try to Google yourself. Just Anna. put your own <laughs> name. <laughs> just put your own name. You'll find old pictures. Mm. Okay, I had I I used to write in Blogspot. Mm. So whenever I Google myself, even though I actually deleted those posts, when I Google myself, I actually find my kentalan pictures in there. <laughs> yeah, with all the boyfriends and ex boyfriends in the world, and then after that got uh pictures yang muka you know the duck. Uh, macam dark mm, post mm, lah. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Aku duit lah. Macam, but it's that dark post. It's that time we yeah. did it. Yeah, and then and we thought it's good cool, lah. Macam cool. cool lah. Uh-huh. Uh, 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 dengan rambut aku yang 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 Kali. flat lah. Ada apa yang yeah. terkala yeah. lah. Oh, yeah, and then when I look back, it's kind of embarrassing. And it's true, still true. there. There's evidence. Correct, correct. But I deleted it. Mm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But same, somehow same the internet yeah. Like, like, yeah, I have this uh, like macam where you upload your pictures then you same lah for the blog right mm-hmm. so I just <laughs> sign in yesterday oh and my I goodness. still like oh no, my you remember god. your password I have to re- have to that one lah oh, account recovery okay. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah it's all my like pre-hijab 
Oh, oh. Yeah, like, oh my god, I need to delete this. Yeah. Same for Facebook, right? Where you post all your albums, back Correct. there, your pictures. Like, oh my god, I need, I need to hide it. Hide it. Yeah, hide I hide it. it, you know. All my kental pictures, ya Allah. Yeah. Like, you can hide it, but, but it's still there. Yeah. You Google it, it's still there. Oh, yeah. I tell That's you, a scary the part. internet is a scary place. Yeah. Mm. And it's, it's, it's going to continue being that mm. way for a very long time. Mm-mm. So I think there's, uh, there's just so much we can do. So I just hope that my future anak lelaki or anak perempuan don't see it, eh? don't, don't Google, 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 Google. <laughs> and see mak kenapa macam gini shut up <laughs> <laughs> aku tengah imagine I'll be so embarrassed yeah lah yeah lah yeah yeah sometimes I also think that it's kind of unfair that we girls need to um, play nice while the boys can get to be boys yeah You know what I mean? Usually they have this li- line that uh, boys will be boys. Kenapa tak ada girls will be girls ah? <laughs> If yeah. you realize tak ada kan? You know why I say that? Because <laughs> that time, uh, okay, sejak sejak sekarang ni dah halal-halal tau iban ni kan? Alhamdulillah sis. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> that time I was like, eh, hey, it's so troublesome to cover our feet first. I need to like, you know when I enter the house or keluar mm. rumah or just whenever, or go to the toilet even I need to remove or just simply take care of my feet so that it doesn't smell ke apa ke. It's just so leceh and I was questioning why do we need to cover Of it. Someone told me that some guys uh, They fetish. have food fetish. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Aku pernah nampak juga food fetish. Kau semua bronos macam, eh. Ma- <laughs> macam apa tu? Um, Pengotor apa? Send me, send me feed pics. <laughs> Aku What? pernah nampak kat Twitter. Ada orang macam send like. Send me feed pics? Uh-uh, macam macam orang suka tengok kaki kerja. Kadang-kadang kaki, kaki orang bawah. Okay, it's very creepy lah. Macam, ha? Huh? Sampai kaki pun kau boleh... You know what I mean? Kalau kita macam fikir, kita macam, eh, tak masuk akal ya. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. Kau tengok kaki, kau boleh feel like, like sit mm-hmm. or not, whatever. Maybe that's why we are told to do, uh, we are given yeah. guidelines. Uh, right. We are told to do certain way. Jangan keluar rumah macam gini, mm. jangan post kamar macam gini, jangan gini, gini, gini. Because, like, as much as we can control of what we can do, there are people out there who aren't nice. Oh, yeah, correct. Yeah, who aren't. Sekarang aku dah macam, who aren't. And, you know, when, They look at you, yeah. even if you tutup macam mana, berjilbab macam mana, yeah. people are going to imagine how you look like inside. inside. Oh and this is so disturbing. Yeah, it's very disturbing, you know. Yes, yes. That is why there are uh, platforms out there available for guys and probably women to look at. It's like a buffet. Yeah. So if you don't want to end up there, then you need to take the step To take care of yourself first, it's always self first before we tell people what to do, mm, yeah. right? Takkan aku nak, I'm going to sue you for post. <laughs> but <laughs> you post first, so I can take. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to sue you, right? But I posted it, right? So but it's okay. my fault. Yes, I know. But then, right, there's a bit, I think this is a very tricky thing, you know, right now. Mm-hmm. So, if let's say you're telling me that, okay, I need to start with myself, ah, kan? That means yeah. now I cannot I cannot even post pictures of myself? You can, but jangan cari... Um, nahas, eh? Jangan cari yeah, nahas lah. Yeah, but like you said, if people can tutup daripada kepala sampai ke kaki pun, but if people want to take my pictures out of context, they will. Mm-hmm. So, what I'm saying is, then... Then, is, then kau tukar really Instagram kau pakai uh, just on quotes je. Eh, siap lah. <laughs> Boring, <laughs> Rizal. Like, I mean, that's the thing lah. Macam, entah macam nak cakap eh. Uh, maybe right. you post like, does it benefit someone, yes, like, someone I, else? Or? Correct, correct. Post things that can benefit others. Even if you, when you're posting something, um, when you're captioning or when you're mm. posting something, um, make sure that the ne- the person that is reading or watching can benefit from it. Only sh- And then we as consumer only share things that can benefit others. Mm. Right, because we are what we consume. Can if you keep on consuming that content, the pornographic content, then you are going to keep thinking about it. Right, you are going to have the otak kuning. Mm. Mm. If you are consuming things or listening or watching things with vulgarities. with vulgarities, with um, negative things. You are going to be like that. You being a negative yeah. person. Okay, so I read this book, um, Light Upon Light by Fadila Wahid. Uh, mm. She mentioned her experience of watching uh, Gordon Ramsay shows. So she said that when she was watching, Gordon Ramsay was very... Uh, Ramsay ke Ramsay? Aku sembarang. Gordon Ramsay, right? Eh. Gordon Ramsay. Eh. Aku tak tahu. Okay, tak apa. I'm Malay Ramsay. So she was, she was uh, watching this uh, chef um, criticizing the food. So 
naturally when she's out there in a cafe she starts, uh, she starts criticizing mm. so you are what you, con- you, you consume right yeah yeah so it's actually in media there's such thing called um, uh, there's such thing called cultivation theory the content of what you watch will influence um, yeah, yeah will influence you and will soon have effect on your thoughts correct, correct. And your actions lah. And your opinion. You know Correct. like, okay, talking about that, right? You know last time, okay, let me just, this is a side track. I think it's true because you know, last time I was, when I was younger, I watched a lot of Chinese drama. Uh-huh. And then I can speak Chinese, you know? So I can understand. That's a good thing lah. It's a good thing lah. <laughs> that is a good <laughs> yeah, like yeah, cultivation yeah. thing, you know? So, bermakna, if you watch bad content or macam uh-huh. benda yang tak senonoh ke apa, it will... Correct lah, it will take mm. a toll on you and it will affect how you think, mm. your thoughts and how you speak. No, even your actions lah. Yeah, are. correct. Because mm. now I think about it, eh, and the thing is, I don't belajar this language, you know. It's just from watching consistently and I can pick up the thing. So, you imagine if you watch nonsensical things, you will mm-hmm. pick up that things and it will be in your brain lah. And then like, yeah, you, yeah. you just, it, you become a different person lah, I would say. Because like, mm, you will start living and breathing as such. Like you think that it's okay, it's normal. You will start to normalize that Correct. that thing that you're watching. It's quite sad that in this generation, on this era, we have um, different platforms that normalize things like that. Mm. Th- uh, normalize negative things. I just recently heard a podcast on um, these boys objectifying women. Uh-huh. I think it's just purely wrong. La. They were talking to each other mm-hmm. about how they want to have sex with their 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 partners, partners. or i don't know lah um i'm not going to say uh, what kind of podcast or even the topic but it's just talking about um how they want to do it on a woman and how they want to see the woman yeah it's just it's happening out there because if you allow someone to talk about women and have no respect on women then that speaks a lot about you lah. Yeah, you want likes, you want followers, you want shares. But how are you going to do it? Mm. Okay. Okay. You are actually teaching the young ones, the y- the younger ones, um, that it's okay to yeah. speak vulgarities. It's okay to yeah. spread sex content. It's okay. It's normal because we are like that in order to, to get the yeah. correct target ad- audience. I just feel it's sad lah. And, and it is not okay. It is not okay. Like yeah. I don't know. No matter how you try to normalize it, normalize it, right? It is. It will never be okay uh, for me. It's just like there should be a line drawn. The kind of things mm-hmm. you want to talk about uh, shouldn't be disrespecting other people, not mm-hmm. just women, mm-hmm. but just other people. You shouldn't be talking about sensitive. Okay, you can address a sensitive issue, though. But there's okay. always an approach to it. Doing that, like being like uh, blunt and much mm-hmm. like using. I don't know crude words. I just don't think it's very nice, lah. Yeah. It, 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 when I heard it, you 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 shared it with me, right? So when I heard it, I'm just like, I was very disturbed because these boys, they are not, they are not much um very old, eh? I think they are quite young, they're young. and they're young, young, young and they're only talking like that. Wow. So so I don't know how they are, where they learn this from. That means they have been exposed, lah. Yeah, yeah they've been exposed, lah. Yeah. Which is very sad, lah. I mean, um, what if? the person you're talking about or shaming on is actually someone you know, mm. right? Back to the uh, pictures that people have been sharing around. What if you are actually, one day when you scroll because you are f- find you are actually feeding your lust, mm. your desire, what if one day you actually found your sister's picture? What yeah. if one day you find um, your mother's picture? Correct. Right? Correct. Okay, cannot be grandma lah, but <laughs> what be, <laughs> what happens There's if another it's, level, what, eh? what if, it's someone you love. Correct. What if even what if it's even your girlfriend, girlfriend your your wife, your, uh, wife, your fiance, your your sister in law. Yeah. I mean, I mean, yes, you can do that because you want to feed your nafsu, but wait till it happens, you. Like I don't know. Kadang-kadang oh, orang buat buat benda ni kan. Like I only have one thing on us. Kau tak takut ke that that thing come back to you? That yes. Will happen back to you? Like for me is right. Like, yeah. The one thing I always tell myself is don't do things that you don't want people to do to you mm-hmm. like when you do um when you take part in this kind of uh, mm-hmm. spreading of whatever nonsense right you just have to know that you, you'll be open to seeing many things ah. and like if one day you see like you say much a sister's picture or whatever you you shouldn't be uh shocked 
<laughs> because you guys are the one who are spreading this kind of things. Yeah. And then if it happens to you, I wonder how you will deal with it. Because belum kena batang hidung sendiri, boleh aku buat kat orang. You know when I first uh, proposed Type and Thrive, um, it's supposed to be a positive platform, kan? Mm-hmm. When we su- when we pitched about uh, when we pitched, let's talk and thrive. We are supposed to um, draw. We are supposed to uh, open topics that will help to cultivate your mind. Mm. Uh, pr- uh, topics that will help you think, can and uh, and we will can benefit you. Benefit you. So I was told that um, when I was asking for opinions, people are saying that you need to throw shade at someone. You need to um, say something controversial, then it will get shares, viral. Then it will get virality, which I feel that um, I have my certain I have a certain values that Correct. I need to keep it. So if I were to conform to norm, what is seem what is seen to be normal now, yeah, then I'm just going against your own principles. Correct. Yeah. So that's why I was. Initially scared lah. So Correct. I hope if you're watching this, mm. um, share good content with your friends so that we all can benefit from it, mm. right? Yeah. And it's we the next time, the next time you're watching something or listening to something, ask yourself, do I want to be like them? Yeah. Can. Correct. Okay, that's the end. It's so serious, really. <laughs> <laughs> Asyik orang macam tu dia macam aku mana korang. Tak lah. Yes yes. I agree. In light of like recent stuff also going on, I feel like there were girls going against each other. Yes. And I definitely. think it's very ridiculous because hello, your pictures are being put online and you're going against each other. What kind of nonsense is this? I'm just like jangan merepek lah. Like you should be helping to report the account or whatever mm. instead of bashing each other yeah, online. Correct. Like what are you gonna get out of it? Like the first time is yeah, just yeah. stop it yeah. first yeah. lah. Yeah. yeah, it's yourself lah. Correct, correct. Yeah, yeah. stop yeah. the sharing. Stop Jangan talking share, about uh. it. Mm-hmm. And no, you have to talk about it to share it yeah. lah. <laughs> But <laughs> don't throw shit. Don't show, don't, don't throw shit. Because yeah. like like you, I don't believe that. Throw, okay, yes, maybe in the current um current context, you throw shit, you get famous sort yeah. of. But you. <laughs> Entah macam tak baik lah buat orang macam tu. Like if you throw shit at people just because they go viral for a wrong thing, and then you do that, it's just one day it's just orang. It's a, uh, yeah. one day it's just gonna go back, go yeah, back to you. Correct. Because like I say, all this you let's say you bash people online or whatever, right? It's um it will stay online forever. Mm-hmm. So if let's say people want to um find out tea about you or whatever, right? They can find out. It's it's so accessible on internet. So don't do that. Like just go and block the person, report the account and. Help each other out and look out for each other lah. Mm, yeah. yeah, that's the most important correct. one. Correct. Kalau mama dulu kata, uh, ingat satu hari kau ada anak. Correct. Satu hari <laughs> kau ada suami. Mm. Satu hari kau ada. Kalau aku buat kat orang, orang buat kau kau balik. Perpadan ke kau. Uh, mm. Okay, that's Sekian. all. <laughs> Sekian masalah. Okay, with this video sharing, I just hope that we can help each other out. Mm. Okay. Right. We are not taking sides. Yes, we yes, are yes. not um, Definitely. Telling Don't wear like this. Yeah. Don't, don't do post this. like that. Yeah, yeah. We're not here to discriminate yeah. you, lah. You know, we are not telling you what to do. Re- technically, we are not like really telling you what to do, lah. We are just, I think, on our side, we're just really trying to spread like, much like, awareness on like, um, uh, on how we can take precautions as uh, uh, as a first step. Uh, and the wrongdoers are still the wrongdoers. Mm. There's no going about that. But all we are saying is, this video is nothing got to do with like. Taking sides, like Amalia mentioned, oh, it's more of yeah, throwing shit. No, we are just here to help the girls out and like you know protect each yeah, other. Protect each other. So good okay. vibes only. Yep. Alright. <laughs> spread love. <laughs> spread love. <laughs> yes, you can spread love yes. by uh, subscribing to our Telegram. Every Monday, we are going to give a note, a very yes. long note, uh, to tell you that we are here for you. Mm. We feel what you feel. We're mm-hmm. going through what you are going through, and then you can also uh, follow our. Podcast? Podcast, yes. Uh, Apple Podcast and Spotify. Spotify Let's Talk and Thrive. Mm-hmm. Facebook, Tap and Thrive. Instagram, Instagram Tap and Thrive. Asal tu orang punya Tap and Thrive. Ada macam... We really need a jingle lah. Like. Yes, we need a jingle. Song. Yes, anyone <laughs> out there? Besides Effa Shakila. <laughs> mm. Okay, we're rambling guys. Alright, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.